My sweet Sam, why God blessed me with someone as special as you, I'll never know. But I'm so grateful I'll never stop thanking him for you. It's crazy to think about everything that, is, that had to happen for us to meet, but even cooler to look back and see God working in every moment of our story leading up to this. I was just sitting here telling his dad about how highly I think of Sam, and I'm not gonna repeat that in front of everybody, but I am, I just cannot tell you. Allison is my oldest daughter. She was born 21 year, 21 and a half years ago. And it makes a huge difference to a guy like me to know that she married a guy like Sam. Thank you for your unconditional love, your sweet spirit for your servant's heart, and for just being you. You have my whole heart, Sam, and I can't wait to start this forever with you. I didn't think this day was gonna come so soon, but I couldn't be more thrilled to know that Allison is in great hands and for the rest of her life. I've always wanted a brother, and now I have one, and four awesome sisters. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the Lord has in store for the two of you. The marriage relationship is obviously a very beautiful thing designed uh, by God uh, in the very beginning, in the garden. You think about uh, all of his creative activity and after everything that God created, he said that, that it's good. So we're all here this afternoon, been anticipating this for, for a while and uh, vows that, that I know that you have already made in your heart to one another, but vows that I want you to take and uh, for your friends and family to hear. So Sam, I'll, I'll just start with you. Do you take Allison to be your lawfully wedded wife and do you promise before God and these witnesses to love her, to comfort her, to honor and to keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others to keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live, do you so promise? I do. Now, Allison, do you take Sam to be your lawfully wedded husband? And do you promise before God and these witnesses to love him, to comfort him, to honor and to keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others to keep thee only unto him, so long as you both shall live, do you so promise? I do. Now by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce you husband and wife, and what God has brought together, let not the hand of man put asunder. All right, Sam, you now kiss your wife. to give you a hard time for always trying to find a seat by me or be by me when we weren't dating but the truth is I wanted you to be by me as well as and I will always want you to be by my side in all of our adventures I love you and can't wait to see you Sam <laughs> 